Hello friends, in this video we will solve the next question will be asked in the RSCSA exam and this question is also easy so you can solve this question easily. So see that how to solve this question. The question said that set the password expiry to the 20 days for the all upcoming users. Whenever user student creates a folder it should be have read write executable permission for the user there is a no permission for the group and others have executable permission and when he creates a file it should have read write only read write permission so the question meaning is we need to set the password expiry 20 days for the all upcoming users and there are the some permission we need to give to the user or group so how to solve this for the solving purpose we need to find the configuration file of all related questions the configuration files of the this is the present at a location slash it is slash login dot depths is the name of our configuration file so without wasting your time let's open this file with the help of the vim so vim slash it is slash login dot steps after opening this configuration file we need to find a one word is the pass underscore max underscore base this word is used to set a maximum password dates so here you can just find this word here you can uh, here you can say that our password extra expiry is set default 9999 dates so we need to just change this number with the help of insert mode we need to go by firstly insert mode and here you can just type 20 okay instead of the 999 you just type the 20 okay that means our maximum password date should be expired within a 20 days after that we need to save this file with the help of the except wq and explanatory word then our password is our password expiry is set at 20 days then the second question is said that whenever user student creates a folder it should have read write executable permission for the user there is no permission for the group and other permission of the executable. So how to do that? So first of all we need to create the student user. For creating the student user we have to add the user in your system or in your uh, RSCSA exam the user is already created but in uh, my system the user student is not created that's why I am the created okay. So user add student okay after that we need to go the student but i want to set the password first pass wd student the password is dash 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 okay i set the password for the user student then with the help of the su command we go to the student Okay, I am present at the student user. Then we need to find the dot bashrc file, and this dot bashrc files is present at the location student home directory. So how to find vim dot bashrc? Here you can find this bashrc file. Bashrc file is responsible to change the umask of any user and depends on your umas the permission is set here you can type umask uh, for example here i am type the umask umask and first of all i need to type the i button for going to the insert mode here i can type umask and we need to set the permission 7 read write executable that means 7 7 0 Seven zero zero seven six. Okay, so how we can calculate this overall? Here I can calculate. Okay, let's see that how to calculate the UMask. Okay, here the mention folder. So maximum permission of the folder is seven seven seven. You need to minus mention permission. 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल रीड राइट रीड नो परमिशन एंड एग्जीक्यूटिव मीन्स यू नीड टू माइनस सेवन जीरो और एग्जीक्यूटिव मीन्स वन ओके सो द रिजल्ट इज सेवन माइनस सेवन जीरो सेवन माइनस जीरो सेवन एंड सेवन माइनस वन इज सिक्स सो यू नीड टू सेट द यू मार्स जीरो सेवन सिक्स आई अगेन रिपीट हियर यू मेन्स इन अवर क्वेश्चन पेपर मेन्शन इज द फोल्डर okay the maximum permission of the folder is 777 the maximum permission of the file is the 666 that's why i'm here written then in our question paper said that we need to set the permission read write execute no permission and execute that means read write execute means 7 no permission means 0 and only execute permission means 1 and if i minus this to the this then i will get the 076 and this is our u mask okay so i need to say this you must to this user you must then 076 then we need to save this file then we need to execute the bash command for refresh over all our terminal then here you can check you must is 0076 okay 0076 means 076 that means our question is successfully solved and here you get fully out of out marks so if you like this video then subscribe my channel and wait for the next video thank you